Let's do a little word association right now. I'm going to hit you with something, and you tell me the very first thing that pops into your head. Ready? The U. You. You're probably thinking Jimmy Johnson, Michael Irvin, great Miami quarterbacks like Jim Kelly and Bernie Kosar. The Canes getting off the team playing in fatigues before their Fiesta Bowl matchup with Penn State back in 87. Maybe you have visions of them smashing FIU with their helmets and crutches and Lamar Thomas trying to get down on the field from the broadcast booth to get some of that. And that's what I'm talking about. You come into our house, you should get your behind kick. You don't come in the OB playing that stuff. You're across, you're across the ocean over there. You're across the city. You can't come over to our place talking noise like that. You get your butt beat. I was about to go down the elevator and get in that thing. Now, whenever I personally think of the U, the first thing that pops into my head is Gino Toretta on his teammates' shoulders after they laid a beat down on San Diego State and telling his teammates, take me to Falk, after he ripped the Heisman Trophy from Marshall Falk. Hey, whatever your snapshot, if I mention the U, everyone everywhere thinks of Miami. Well, everyone except Florida Gator wideout Lewis Murphy. Murphy fired up for this Saturday's game with the Canes and still apparently bent that the U did not bother to recruit him, says that Miami's no longer even good enough to be considered the U and that the Gators have ripped that distinction from them. Quote, if I'm right, the U stands for the University of Miami. Well, we're the University of Florida. We're the U. I don't refer to them as the U. I refer to them as Miami. If the U is for university and winning in championships, we're the U. They are Miami, and that's what I call them. Awesome. Thanks, Lewis. Thanks for giving us a reason to watch a beatdown that we all probably would have just skipped anyway. Just know this, you could beat them by three touchdowns and probably will, but they're still the U. They remind you of it every time they celebrate their scores by flashing the U with their hands and introduce themselves during Monday Night Football. They are the ones who have the U on the side of their helmets. Besides, why are you trying to rip their gloss? You don't see the Wolverines calling themselves the University of Michigan or UCLA insisting that we refer to them as the men of Troy and you should not be calling yourself the U. Even though you now have twice the program they do, they're still the U.